And welcome back. We're talking this morning about the 400th anniversary of the arrival of the first African slaves on these shores. Dr. Wanda Tucker is still with us. She traces her ancestry to the first slave ship. Also with us, Aisha Graves, president of the West Valley NAACP and the Reverend Reginald Walton, pastor at Phillips Memorial CME Church in Phoenix. I want to talk about building a bridge from 1619 to 2019 and Reverend Walton, I interrupted you as you were beginning to build that bridge. So please, please continue. That's no problem. One of the things that I was simply going to say is that we have to make sure that we, we guard the narrative. Unfortunately, what we heard from the former Speaker of the House is a narrative that wants to belittle the experiences of those that were enslaved. And so as we come into today, we want to make sure that we guard our curriculums and with educating our children as to what happened so that it will never happen again. And so that they're empowered to know that regardless if you are the descendant of a slave or if you are um, a descendant of someone who may have benefited from slavery, that it's okay. But we've got to do better and we've got to know the truth and not belittle people's experiences because of what they've been through. So how do you change, you talk about education, how do you change education in our schools because they're taught a very different version of American history? I think I like what you touched on as far as guarding the curriculum. Uh, I am really active in my, my children's school and so the conversation happens because I bring it to the school and I say here's what I want my children learning, here's what I want the conversation to be about. Black History Month is coming, for example, and what is the plan for that? What does this look like? And I'm very active in that decision making in the process. And, and I'm thankful for the partners at my children's school who are open to having the conversation, but we do have to be guarded with the curriculum and the, the information that they're receiving. And also be, be mindful of what they're putting in our textbooks. Unfortunately, the state of Texas tried to say that uh, people who were enslaved in this country were unpaid interns. Right. That is a false narrative and we've got to check it every time we hear it. And unfortunately, people will get mad and say that we're just bringing up old stuff, but we've got to be real about what's happening and take, take the initiative to continue to tell these stories and tell these narratives. I want to give Dr. Tucker the last word. Uh, if you could talk to, uh, talk to the young people today, mm -hmm. uh, what's the one thing you want them to know about your trip and what you learned? Be proud of who you are. Be, Be pr proud. Be proud. Be proud. You come from a long line of people who suffered through, endured, and paid a lot of prices for you to be here today. Hold your head up high. Learn, study, learn about your history. Take pride in who you are. Don't hold your head down. Hold your head up high and honor your ancestors. You learned that lesson. I did. You sure did, okay. Wanda Tucker, Aisha Graves, Reverend Reginald Walton, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And you can see all of our Sunday Square Off coverage on our 12news.com YouTube channel. Go to 12news.com slash YouTube. You can also reach me anytime with your comments. Find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at Bram Resnick, or email me at bresnick at 12news.com. And there's our YouTube channel. Go there, lots of good stuff. That's our show for this week. Thanks very much to all of our guests. And thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the Labor Day weekend. We'll see you back here next weekend for another round of Sunday Square Off.